3.1 Past tenses We use different past tenses to describe moments and periods of time in the past. We use the past perfect for an action that was completed before another action in the past. When Andrea arrived at work at nine o'clock, her secretary had opened the post. We use the past continuous for an action in progress before and after a time in the past. When Andrea arrived at work at nine o'clock, her secretary was opening the post. We use the past simple for an action that follows another action in the past. When Andrea arrived at work at nine o'clock, her secretary opened the post. 3.2 Past simple Form The form is the same for all persons in the past simple. He left at three o'clock. They arrived three weeks ago. She didn't finish on time yesterday. I didn't visit my parents last weekend. When did he finish the report? What time did his train leave? Use. We use the past simple for finished actions in the past. We met in 2000. Actions that follow each other in a story. Mary walked into the room and stopped. She listened carefully. She heard a noise coming from behind the curtain. She threw the curtain open and then she saw... A past situation or habit. When I was a child, I walked for miles on the beach every day. This use is often used with used to. I used to walk for miles every day. Here are some more examples. I went to Manchester last week. They gave me a lovely present. We played football every day when we were young. We used to play football every day. Spelling of verb plus ed. Most verbs add ed. For example, work, worked, help, helped, wash, washed. For verbs that end in e, just add d. For example, like, liked, use, used, hate, hated. For verbs that have one syllable and end with a vowel and a consonant, double the consonant before adding ed. For example, stop, stopped, plan, planned. But we don't double the consonant for verbs that have two vowels, cook, cooked, moan, moaned, or verbs that end in y or w, play, played, show, showed, spelling of verb plus ed. For most verbs with two syllables, with the stress on the second syllable, we double the consonant. For example, prefer, preferred, admit, admitted, 
but for most verbs with the stress on the first syllable, we don't double the consonant. For example, enter, entered, visit, visited. For verbs ending in a consonant and y, the y changes to ie. For example, carry, carried, hurry, hurried. But for verbs that end in a vowel and y, we just add ed. For example, enjoy, enjoyed. Play, played. There are many common irregular verbs. Past simple and time expressions. Here are some time expressions that are common with the past simple. Last night. Two days ago. Yesterday morning. In two thousand and one. In summer. When I was young. Here are some examples. We went to the cinema last week. I didn't go out yesterday evening. They met three weeks ago. The course started in March. She left school when she was sixteen. Three point three, past continuous, form. The form of the past continuous is was or were in the positive or negative, followed by the ing form of the verb. I was learning French. They were driving to Paris. We weren't waiting for a long time. What were they doing? Where was he studying? Were you looking for me? No, I wasn't. Were they waiting outside? Yes, they were. Use. We use the past continuous for activities in progress. At a particular time in the past. At seven o'clock this morning, I was having breakfast. Descriptions. Jane was wearing a green dress. Interrupted past activities. We were playing tennis when it started to rain. Incomplete past activities. I was reading a book during the flight. Here are some more examples. What were you doing at eight o'clock last night? It was a lovely day. The sun was shining. She was having a shower when the phone rang. Three point four. Past simple or past continuous. Sometimes we can use both to describe past actions. The past simple focuses on past actions as complete facts. I stayed at home last night and watched the football. The past continuous focuses on the duration of past activities. I was watching the football all evening. Questions in the past simple and past continuous refer to different time periods. The past continuous asks about activities that started before a point in the past. What were you doing when the accident happened? I was shopping. The past simple asks about what happened. At or after a point in the past. What did you do when the accident happened? I phoned the police. 
3.5. Used to. Used to expresses a habit or state in the past that is now finished. The form of used to is the same for all persons. I used to read comics when I was a kid. My dad and I used to play football together. Did you used to read comics when you were a child? This town didn't used to be a nice place to live, but then it changed. 3.6. Past perfect. Perfect means completed before. Past perfect refers to an action in the past that was completed before another action in the past. Form. The form of the past perfect is the same for all persons. Positive and negative. I had seen him before. He hadn't finished work at six o'clock. Question. Where had you been before? Short answer. Had he left already? Yes, he had. Or? No, he hadn't. Here are some more examples. The train had already left. When had she seen the photograph? Had they been to Paris before? No, they hadn't. Use. We use the past perfect to make clear that one action happened before another action in the past. When I got home, I found that someone had broken into my apartment. The past simple tells a story in the order that it happened. Sue and Peter met at university. They were married for six years. They divorced last month. The past perfect can be used to tell a story in a different order. Sue and Peter divorced last month. They'd met at university, and they'd been married for six years. Notice the difference between these sentences. When I got to the party, Peter went home. When I got to the party, Peter had gone home. The past perfect continuous refers to longer actions or repeated activities. We were exhausted because we'd been driving all day. 3.7. Past tenses in the passive. Form. The form of the past simple passive is was or were plus past participle. The museum was opened in 1987. We were burgled last night. The form of the past continuous passive is was being or were being plus past participle. The vase was being restored. The form of the past perfect passive is had been plus past participle. The house had been redecorated. Use. The uses are the same in the passive as in the active. The bridge was built in 1876. The bomb was being defused when it exploded. The letter didn't arrive because it had been sent to my old address.